And I think if I come from that end there, I should be able to get some nice, fast, real rips. See, here's the flag, all right? So see the flag, see the, fla the way the flag's blowing? While there are, like, posts, I really don't think that I'm going to slam into those. Although it would be kind of cool to do a jump off those. Those things right there do, like, a nice jump off of them. Get the CPX out of here. I remember where my on switch is. It's on that side. Well, maybe I was wrong that I wouldn't uh, crash. So that wasn't even full trigger. So, not even that full trigger we got, what, 53? So, I'm going to clear that out, record, zeroed out, give it another rip. Grind through the body. GPS is still on. We ended up with, uh, you see that? 57 miles per hour. So we'll clear that out. And this time I'm actually gonna stay down this way. Maybe that will help. Zero it out. So we literally still don't have enough room for this damn thing. This thing is so fast. This thing is a rocket. So that time we got, so I'm trying to get, there's too much like glare. So I think you can see that. We got 65 miles per hour and I still think it has more in it. So I'll clear that out again. We'll give it a rip. <laughs> it's not supposed to be an off-road truck. So I only got 62 that time, and I wasn't full trigger, so let's clear it out again. <sighs> Mess it up. GoPro on. Alright, so that's a way out there. So let's see what this thing's got. Oh, something happened. This thing is a ripper. Oh, there goes a wheel. <laughs> now that I'm over here, it wasn't the wheel, it was the GPS. Oh no, pieces of GPS everywhere. Oh, the cover. Oh man, boy, that thing went for a tumble. Oh, oh dang it. All right. GoPro off.
All right. We actually were able to put it back together. It's back at zero, but it gets kind of sketchy because of some of these ruts and some of these uh, pavement kind of cracks. So it's way down there. So let's just give it a rip. Whoa. So my guess is we possibly have a tire out. As soon as it hits full throttle, it just loses all control. I don't know if it's lifting or what's going on, but there's the possibility that we have maybe a tire loose or whatever. So we only got 60 that time. I know it's got more in it. So... See, it's got 60 right there. I know it's got more in it. Man! Again, I just could not get full throttle. So now we are at, so now we're at 61. It's like really close. I know I'm ready. Is this thing ready? Oh, it goes the GPS again. Oh, that was a bad one. So here's the first piece. This is where the cover is. And battery, ah, it just leaves a trail. There's a battery right here. And we got the module. <laughs> and then what we're missing is we're missing the cover. Where'd the cover go? That's, that's, that's not the cover. All right, so where did the GPS cover go? Truck's in one piece, although it did a nasty tumble. All right, we gotta find the cover. So here's what's nuts. We just found the cover, it's actually right there. So we crashed, I think it initially crashed like right here, tumbled like way over to there and we drove it to there. Here's the cover to the GPS. How did it get that far away? Because of the wind. Well, I have no idea what the max speed was. Um, no fault of this thing whatsoever. This thing is actually performing amazingly. We got a rock actually stuck inside. We also, we lost the belt. So one of the things that I'm, I'm suspecting is I'm wondering if we are getting chassis flex because there is no support going from front to rear diff. So I might have to see if I can figure out figuring out some kind of a support just to kind of make things a little bit more rigid, but 67 miles per hour actually wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know. I mean, you can see the body has got, got some damage now. Uh, maybe we're getting, uh, you know what, actually we are getting some separation here. Uh, so all right, so we did get some tire separation, which is fine. I'm just gonna have to re-glue those things. They hang on in the front. The fronts are fine. Yeah, this one too. 
So we just keep coming unglued. It's just too fast for that set of tires and wheels. But um, like I said, 67 miles per hour, that's, that's not too bad. I wanted a couple of extra more miles per hour out of it, but um, this thing moves. This thing handles. It's, it's a rocket ship. It's, yeah, it just flies.